Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Sambit PhD, where I share experiences about studying and living in uh, Netherlands, Germany, and all over Europe. So in the previous video, we were with Kapil, whom you can see. Uh, he discussed about his experience of applying for Erasmus Mundus program and doing his master's in the Erasmus Mundus program in three different European countries. In this video, we'll discuss how he is now going to transition himself from the Erasmus Mundus program to a uh, TU Munich uh, for doing another master's. And the interesting thing is that, as many of you ask about CGPA, he did not have a good uh, profile when he left after doing bachelor's in India. Uh, by profile, I mean, did not have a good CGPA. And uh, now he got into TU Munich, which is one of the best universities in Germany. And he already applied for more than 20 different universities for masters. And finally, he got admitted for more than 10 universities. So this video will be very interesting. So thank you, Kapil, for joining us. Uh, in this video, uh, let's start the video by briefly touching up on your CGPA so that people have the context, like what I mean by low CGPA. And then we can move ahead with about your application for Germany and all the experience and everything. So please, Kapil, can you please give like a maybe a brief intro also? And uh, what was your CGPA after your bachelor's in India? So first of all, thank you, Samit, for continuing to a second part, uh, and I'm really lucky for that. And of course, uh, I welcome all the new viewers and uh, who are again watching this, uh, the second episode which we are having. So I'll just go through to the last part, which I was work uh, which I was telling you. So I and after my uh, after my third semester, in which I spent in uh, which I spent in University of Nice, Sofia, and Tripolis, where I studied about mathematical finance and brokerage and what is math like what is actually finance and all those stock markets and stuff. And after that, I got a job in Italy as a software engineer. So I started working on, on, on the job. But once I get some decent experience of nine months, 10 months, where I was comfortable, I thought that, okay, now I can go to the job market without any issue. So I thought, okay, let's finish my master's in Italy first. So I came back and I got into my university. I took the Italian university. I took some uh, research topics. But now I, at this point, I had two options. Because I was already working in industry and I thought, okay, I either either do a master's thesis industrial, which is industry oriented topics, or I should do a research oriented topics. But at this point, I had to decide what is my next move. So I thought, okay, what, what am I going to uh, gotta do after this? So I thought it's better to move to Germany. So at this point, I had two options. So I had decided that I'll move to a better university in Germany. But for me, in my case, since my whole uh, uh, previous background is academia, so for me, it makes more sense to do a research-oriented uh, master's thesis. So at this point, I decided I have to work on research topics. And I took the best supervisor from the university. I took a uh, supervisor who is the HOD from computer science department and he, and he teaches from uh, maths as well. So I wanted to make sure that I apply to all the places, which is computer science and mathematics together. So for that, I took a research oriented master's thesis and I'm working on, I'm writing a paper on that also in, in one journal, which is computationals and uh, mathematics as well. And after doing that, I, I started working again to the Italian company, software company. And now, since after that, I apply, so I started applying to German universities, as you well said. I applied for more than 20 universities. I got admissions in around 10 universities and more than 15 English talk programs. So this was the basically preview. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you already said it, like what was your CGPA in India? Like uh, the, what is a grade? So so, so in my university, we had percentage systems. So I had 69 percentage, which is which in German grades calculates to somewhere around three or 2.7. It, it is actually, it varies from place to place because uh, it, it's the subjects which the German universities count in. Actually. So just to give like a small context, I think people who are already applying for Germany will know that like from... In Germany, the scale is from one to four, right? One to five, five is one to five. five. And yeah. if you have low, like one, then it is good. But if you are no. in your yeah. 
yeah yeah near yeah. 5 right. then it is bad so, so yeah yeah so for example in my 10th and 12th i got 95 percentage so that is a straight one in germany but in my bachelor's it's 69 so it's like uh, it's just opposite right so it goes at the other end of the scale right instead of one it's going towards three so this is the scale which i had and my grades were very bad actually i applied to a lot of places before as well i did not get a single admit from any of the places and then i worked on my profile i thought okay i am good but i'm not able to show to the academic uh, evaluation team you know what i'm i'm what i have done till now so the moment i changed this stuff i got admissions in all the universities and 15 plus courses 10 plus universities all english taught and uh, one of the highest rated the top most german university tu munich and four courses english taught programs in tu munich and uh, yeah and most of the universities are in top 10 and t- most of the tus as well so okay so if you remember i am also curious and maybe the audience watching is also curious could you please name the universities that you got admit so people also get some motivation that okay you can also get admit to so many universities if you have like good persistence and also a good all round profile after you have already doing the erasmus mundus program okay so i got admit from university of gottingen this was the first university in which i got the first admit then university of munster university of beirut in that i got scientific computing and scientific computing they take very heavy interviews for that because this course is uh, very computational and very research oriented and they have a lot of uh, scholarships and a lot of funding from the beirut region of germany so they were telling in the interview that you have to be very good in this and i gave the interview i got the final uh, result admission as well in this and then i got computational uh, and applied maths in nuremberg uh, which is again a very good university again the the top most ranked german university technical university munich i got actuarial uh, financial actuarial mathematics i got uh, engineering mathematics as well in tu darmstadt i got in university of hamburg i got admissions and in tu hh as well i have got admissions and uh, i've got in university of hildesheim is there and and and, and okay university of regensburg i've got and frage university berlin because this university was very important for me since it's in berlin so one of the very nice universities and one's uh, technical university of darmstadt as well the uh, university of wurzburg as well and uh, rwth how can i need to check i did not check if i get the admit or not yeah so these were the few universities and courses in which four are from tum and a lot of other tus are there and few okay. are universities like hamburg mhm yeah so that's a pretty long list of universities and it's great to know that you got into these many universities and um let's proceed with the next question which is like uh if you can summarize like because every university the application criteria the requirements may be very a little bit or a lot so can you please like if you can summarize what were the basic application requirements when you apply for these programs uh, according to you like what are the basic requirement that one must have so the basically the idea of applying masters in germany is that you have to apply via generally two ways so the first way is either uni assist so uni assist handles all the central applications so a lot of universities a lot of german universities they have all the applications via uni assist so if you want to apply to those universities you straight away go and put application uni assist it's a common website and the other way in which some of the universities which are not there in uni assist they have their own application portal so you have to go there in their website put all your cvs all your recommendations whatever you have whatever documents and eligibility criteria with they have so you have to apply via these two steps only but this is a catch there's a catch in for example few universities which are little bit generally rated more or there is a more competition maybe it's because i have applied for english taught programs or beat any university any course which is very famous among the germans or the international students so they might have additional interview or some assessment uh, assessment test or something like that 
So for example, in TU Munich, in all the courses, if they find your academic record really good, or if they are satisfactory according to the whatever grade they are calculating or whatever the, their eligibility system is there, they'll give you admit. But if they find little bit uh, uh, chances, then they will ask you for an interview if they doubt, or otherwise they'll give you a straight away rejection. In my case, I did not get any interview calls. I got straight admissions from TU Munich, but there's one university, University of Beirut, which they in which in which the interviewing uh, professors they were saying that they have very good amount of funding, in which I applied for scientific computing. So the only way they take into uh, admissions is by taking interviews of all these students to uh, who who want to apply. So first they sort your system sort your CVs and everything. And once they find you are fine, they ask you for an interview, which is a very heavily oriented maths. And if they like you in the end, they'll ask you for the admission. So that's, okay. that's these are the criteria only. So for the universities, German universities. And uh, according to you, what do you feel like, which are the tough universities? Like, I mean, I don't know that this is a good question because it's difficult to kind of like demarcate tough or easy universities. But according to you, was the like the TUs which are more difficult to get into or uh, by TUs, I mean technical universities or what was your experience? Like, which are the tough set of uh, universities in your field? By the way, can you please like tell in one line, like what field your, your field is in mathematics or what is your field so that people have also the context? So, so my field is on mathematics, mm -hmm. on mathematical engineering, financial mathematics and okay. optimization, which is again, mathematical related stuff. Okay. So yeah, so please yeah. tell like which are the tough or easy according to you. So so I feel the TUs are more uh, harder to get in. There might be multiple reasons to be honest. There might be reasons that a lot of engineering students apply from uh, India also and most of the Asian countries as well. So one condition is that okay because of the competition, the number of applicants which they are having is enormous. So that's why it's obvious the uh, the the competition is high. And the second reason is that they have generally a minimum grade criteria, so which a lot of normal universities don't have. So the reason which they have is like the, the, to reduce the number of applicants. But a lot of universities, for example, TU Munich, they take heavy interviews as well sometimes. So I feel that the TUs are really reputed. And even among the professors as well, the amount of research papers and the amount of uh, quality work, which uh, you, if you see, because you're also a researcher, right? So you will see a significant amount of uh, research done, being done more than in, in the TUs than the normal German, German universities. And also, uh, it, we can't say actually on this only because there are uh, some research stations as well. For example, uh, I, I don't remember the name, but uh, there are a few research uh, institutions in Germany, which are neither university nor a TU. But again, these are very hard to get because these are only research. Like so Leibniz. Leibniz. Yeah, Leibniz, exactly. Leibniz, Leibniz yeah. is there. Because the reason I time. said is because I'm, I, so I'm doing my postdoc in both, like two places. So my affiliation is also with the university and also research institute. Oh, wow. So that's why I know the, the, the whole research institute landscape here because wow. many collaborated so three four universities in germany collaborate to form a research institute and then they also get affiliation with these kind of Leibniz or something which is very prestigious so this is also a thing in germany yeah 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 so i mean for normal master's student like me or most of the cases like 70 percent of the students tu is more hard to get and most of the students they know it okay as we already discussed in depth like about your experience and application experience uh, would you like to give any specific advice for future applicants who want to apply for masters in germany and maybe while saying that can you highlight some important points that uh, everyone should keep in mind while applying yeah so i think it's it's good to apply but at the same time, there's a there's a huge chances of rejection as well. So basically, the main idea is to get acceptance in better universities. But before that, you have to get multiple offers. 
So the best advice, which I think is most important is to apply more than one year for more than one university. That is one of the biggest mistakes a lot of students do is that they think that they'll apply to one university, two university, and it's very easy to get, right? In the end, they just end up wasting their whole six months or seven months. So this is the lesson one which I learned is that apply to multiple universities. And the second is working on your resume, working on your uh, letter of motivation, whatever academic profile you have. If you want to study, if you're going for a managerial task or if you're going for a business oriented course, you have to show some skills which are related to business or something which you have worked on and not the actual academia. But if it's if you're, if you're going to academic uh, domain, then you have to show some academic skills. By academic, it does not mean something which is repetitive, but something which is in depth and something a little bit innovative as well. For example, in my case, uh, I, I, I'm going for maths and finance and actuarial, right? And a lot of students from data science come, right? But in data science, a lot of people just reuse a simple library. But that's not a very innovation stuff. Like you have to show that what skills you are doing, right? So you have to add these points in your CV that what is different in you and not, uh, which is not there in the other people. So this was about the, what you have to, uh, while you're applying the skills which you have to show in your CV or the letter of motivation. Now, the second part is uh, when you're applying, you have to apply for more than one universities. So it's it's different. Yeah, I think I have also said this many times in many videos that always try to diversify and increase your uh, the number of universities that you apply, like make a set of like ambitious, moderate or safe and make a basket of universities instead of just rooting for three safe universities. Uh, it always increases your chances of acceptance, as you can hear from Kapil also, who has so much experience with studying and also applying. So thank you, Kapil, for giving your time and uh, talking in depth about applying for so many German universities and getting into TU Munich. So hopefully once you are in Munich, then we'll meet each other and maybe also collaborate more face to face instead of this online environment. And yeah. um, see you everyone. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video, help each other out till next video. Goodbye from Germany. Peace.